Hello and welcome back to the Best Priced Funerals blog. Today, we will be discussing how to respectfully decline attendance to a funeral if you are unable to go. Funerals are an important part of the grieving process. They provide an opportunity for family and friends to come together to mourn the loss of a loved one and offer support to one another. Attending a funeral is considered a respectful way to show support for grieving families and honor the memory of the deceased. However, there may be times when you are unable to attend a funeral due to personal circumstances, such as illness, distance, or financial constraints. In these situations, it is important to assess your ability to attend and weigh the importance of attending against other factors. If you are unable to attend a funeral, there are still ways you can show your support from afar. You can offer condolences in person by visiting the family at a later date or sending a heartfelt sympathy card or letter. You can also make a phone call to express your condolences or send flowers, a memorial gift, or make a charitable donation in the deceased's name. Another option is to arrange to visit the grave site or memorial after the funeral has taken place. This allows you to pay your respects in person at a later date. When communicating your decision not to attend a funeral, it is important to choose an appropriate method of communication. You could send an email or make a phone call depending on your relationship with the bereaved family. It is also important to craft your message in a respectful and empathetic manner. Express your condolences and regrets for not being able to attend while offering support from afar. It is possible that your decision not to attend may cause disappointment among some family members. It is important to be prepared for potential negative responses and offer reassurance and understanding. Emphasize your intentions to honor the deceased in other ways such as sending flowers or making a charitable donation in their name. Managing expectations is also important when communicating your decision not to attend a funeral. Avoid making false promises or commitments and clearly convey your limitations. Suggest alternative ways you can contribute or show support such as sending a sympathy card or making a donation to a charity in the deceased's name. If you are asked to provide an explanation for your absence, it is up to you to decide whether to share your reasons. If you do choose to share, be honest and transparent while respecting your own boundaries and privacy. Reiterate your support for the grieving family and offer practical assistance if possible. This could include offering specific ways you can contribute from a distance or suggesting alternatives to attending the funeral. It is also important to acknowledge and mourn independently if you are unable to attend a funeral. Find meaningful ways to honor the deceased such as creating a private ritual or reflection. Seek support from friends, family, or professionals if needed. Reflect on future actions and consider your decisions in light of your values. Reflect on any potential regrets or missed opportunities and make a plan to support grieving families in the future. Learn from the experience and prioritize relationships. In conclusion, there are many ways you can respectfully decline attendance to a funeral if you are unable to go. It is important to communicate your decision in an empathetic manner and offer support from afar. Thank you for watching this video from Best Priced Funerals. We hope this information has been helpful and please like and subscribe to this channel.